Welcome back. This is Mariusz Skonieczny. In this video, I want to talk about bottom-up investing and bottom-up-down investing. So I see that there's a certain group of people that likes the macro approach. So they look at various trends, right? They look at what's happening in a particular industry or whatever. And then once they identify the, that trend, they look for companies that will benefit from that trend, right? So uranium is, a, is an example of a bunch of people talking about uranium. Uranium is gonna do this because utilities are gonna buy it and things like that. And then they look for companies um, to benefit from that. Now, I've always been more of a bottom-up type of investor, but recently I realized that I was actually investing in, in macro trend or some kind of trends, because when you have a trend behind your back, it helps you. It, uh, it helps your business um, and it kind of, even if you make a mistake or don't do your analysis completely, it kind of bails you out from those mistakes. But I found those trends or those winds behind your back in a, in a different way that people think of it. You see, when you go and you start with a trend, and then you look for the companies that will benefit from the trend. So let's say, let's say you identify a trend for copper, right? Copper, copper demand going up, not enough production and all that. So if that's what you started with, and then you started searching for copper plays, uh, you would never find something like Oracle, never. Because you would go for the mass, most popular names they will benefit from copper, right? The big, the biggest producers or uh, mid-tier producers, you would never find Oracle because it would not be on your radar screen. You would look for the most famous names and you would most likely look on the exchange that everybody else is looking at. So you would look at New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ, right? The, the exchange that has a lot of attention. You would not go and look for these plays on smaller exchanges that nobody else looks at, right? But now let's reverse it now. Let's say you look for companies without, without thinking about trends or anything like that. You just look at companies one by one. Now, what you will discover is that you will discover lots of trends like this that maybe are not like huge trends but they are trends that you can benefit from because they, they provide wind at your back. And when you look at these companies one by one, you see, and you look at, let's say, you either call the management or you look at their investor presentations, you see they, their job is to sell you on this idea. So if there is a particular trend that is happening within the industry that they're in or within the particular company, believe me, they will tell you that. They will tell you this trend. And this is exactly what happened to me with Oracle. I didn't know about the copper trend at all until it was Oracle. I found the company first. I realized that they were in copper, right? And then I started reading about copper and I realized, oh wow, this is, they are on this trend. So. I went from it completely dif differently. And my, my third biggest position, it kind of happened like this too. I went through all the companies on a particular exchange, one by one, and I found this company that was in an industry that I used to work at, right? After college, I was in a particular industry and then I found this company so I could understand what they were doing but what i realized is that there was a big change happening within the industry and i didn't even know about it 
even though I was in the industry years ago, I had no idea that there was a particular trend happening. So that's just another example of how just looking at the individual companies, you can find these trends and you don't have to go to the newspaper or on Twitter and you know read about the things that everybody else is talking about. You can find your own little waves that can make you a lot of money and doesn't have to be a big wave or it might be a big wave down the road like what happened with copper right copper used to be on page number 16 in the newspaper and now it's moving up right so you can find those opportunities and recently i've been looking at a company that you know one by one like this and what i noticed is that there's a particular change happening in this industry and there's like three players in that industry right three big ones and then this small one because i used to look at i, I I'm, I'm used to looking at small companies but this small company what's so unique about it is that they have this technology that they started developing five years ago and then it came to fruition and then the technology is so good it's it's the best in the industry it beats the competitors every single time and as a result of this they are stealing clients from the other two big companies right and then the trend is happening and then the other two companies what's so interesting about them is that they don't develop their own products because they were put together through acquisitions okay and they also operate in in many different verticals many different products many different clients and while this particular one that i looked at specializes in this one niche so they are absolutely killing it in that niche and the competitors can't even come close and that's why they're losing clients and they they won't even be able to catch up because they don't develop their own products and they're not even paying attention that much because of the other verticals that they have. But anyway, it's just wanted to make this video to kind of make you be aware of it is that looking at companies like one by one, I found that it's like the best way to find good investment opportunities, but also the ones that you can catch and they still have a trend behind them. They still have the wind behind uh, they're back, but those trends are not that popular, but they don't have to be popular as long as they they're there and as long as The company is able to benefit from it You can benefit from it. So anyway, let me know your thoughts. Uh, how are you going about? Uh, looking at you know companies or are you are you more the type of investor that goes from the top down or bottom up um, do you care about trends be, being uh, behind your back? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks.